What if everything you thought you knew about the health benefits of coffee was wrong? Are there coffee health risks? Is coffee dangerous to health? Are coffee dangers real? It's clearly one of the most popular beverages in the world. But what are its effects? Let's dive in and look at that. First, take a second to like, comment, and subscribe to this highly informative channel. Hit the notification bell and that way you will know every time we post a new video. Okay, so why all the fuss about coffee and why is it the go-to beverage of choice? First off, it is addictive because of a chemical we call caffeine. Therefore, it's a habit-forming food that once you've acclimated, it's just something that you do without really thinking about it, and especially in social settings where all your friends are doing the same. Because who doesn't enjoy a cozy little coffee house hangout, right? And let's not forget that coffee has a psychoactive element to it. So let's see how this simple little unassuming bean that is cherished around the world actually affects your body. We'll talk about if caffeine is healthy for you, as well as its upsides and downsides, and what amount is safe to consume. We also explore the addiction angle. If you love coffee, watch all the way through so you can make a well-informed health decision. Caffeine is not only found in the coffee bean, but also in many other plants in nature. It's rather bitter to the taste and is classified as a stimulate. This means it triggers the central nervous system in predictable ways. And what does that tell us? It simply means that drinking something with caffeine, like coffee, gives us more energy and makes us more mentally alert. Honestly, a lot of people depend on their daily dose of caffeine just to get through the day. From the scientific side, caffeine is very efficient at blocking adenosine neuron receptors inside the brain. But what does that do if you're a coffee drinker? It simply means that adenosine, which relaxes us and makes us sleepy, is prevented from docking or connecting with neuron receptors. The caffeine is doing its job by blocking adenosin. So as a result, you end up with more energy and are more alert. You are, in effect, officially stimulated from a sort of caffeine chain reaction. And following that morning cup of java, you feel much more motivated to take on the day, right? Now that we know the science, let's talk about what is considered an acceptable amount of this stimulant, and if it's even safe. Evidence-based data shows that this stimulant in a common coffee bean heightens attention, improves reasoning, creates better reaction time, and enhances memory. Wow, not bad, right? Wait, there is more. It's perhaps best known for uplifting mood, especially when you start your day with that morning cup of joe. What's interesting is that caffeine does much more for those who are already exhausted, tired, or showing signs of physical and mental fatigue. In contrast, when you are fully rested and alert, the effects of caffeine are going to be more subdued. And here's some trivia. The energy boosts experienced are somewhat of an illusion. It's not that you have more energy, it's that your body is tricked into thinking it has more energy. Remember those neuron transmitters? But how much of this stimulant is an okay amount? How much caffeine is in a cup of coffee? Well, the typical cup of java has about 100 milligrams of caffeine. Therefore, two cups a day would be considered a reasonable amount. Beyond that, what are the health effects of too much coffee? If your body is well acclimated to the effects of caffeine, then you probably can handle more. Conversely, if you are not a seasoned coffee drinker and then consume, let's say, three cups, well, beware. You will be bouncing off the ceiling for several hours, experiencing the jitters, and you may even become noticeably agitated. Those who are tried and tested coffee enthusiasts do, over time, build up a tolerance to the effects of caffeine. Therefore, more and more is needed to create the same results. Sounds like a drug. Yes, exactly. But what you should know is that caffeine raises blood pressure, increasing systolic numbers by several points. And it increases heart rate too, putting some added stress on the heart muscle. Caffeine also makes the kidneys work harder. This means it's a diuretic and that the kidneys will be strained over time. And what exactly happens to frequent coffee drinkers if they do not get their daily dose of caffeine? Well, symptoms like having brain fog, headaches, being fatigued and grouchy and lacking energy are all common in this case. Lack of focus is a big one too. In effect, you are witnessing the withdrawal from a stimulant drug. Therefore, the very things that the caffeine was intended to overcome return with a vengeance and more intensified. But there is good news. 
While it is a stimulant drug, it is not hardcore. What does that mean? It simply suggests that we are not talking hard drugs here. Anyone wishing to step off the caffeine train can slowly do so and eventually be free of the grips of this low-grade daily addiction. So at the end of the day, is caffeine bad for you? It's not a dangerous drug in and by itself, so it probably can be tolerated in moderation, and most people handle it perfectly fine. But if you like experiencing next-level, higher-function types of longevity health, then avoiding things like coffee is the better choice. That's because aside from the stimulant concerns of coffee, it is also a highly acidic substance. Therefore, drinking it regularly increases acidic pH levels in the body. Highly acidic blood and acidic lymph pH levels invite disease. So, for that reason alone, avoiding coffee and caffeine in general is probably the right choice and a good health decision. Engaging in a raw vegan lifestyle is also one of the best health decisions you could ever make. It's worth exploring. We've talked about the health dangers of coffee. Now tell us what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and notifications so you know each time we upload a new inspiring health video. We look forward to seeing you again next time.